The Sir David Attenborough is currently tied up alongside of the English coast because we're putting huge scientific cargo into West Antarctica. Antarctica itself is twice the size of Australia and we want to access as much of it as possible and get our scientists right into the most remote areas possible to understand why and how Antarctica is changing and what that means for the rest of the world. It's an incredibly challenging location for us to get to. It's 9,000 miles away from the UK. You have to cross the infamous Drake Passage. You have to enter the huge areas of sea ice. Every year, about the size of Europe is formed in sea ice. And we have to break through that, get to the coast and build our own port, an ice port. Getting here has been um, quite tricky in many respects. Uh, to get the ship in alongside the ice cliffs, we need to find the right place. That involves making sure that the cliffs aren't too high, there aren't too many icebergs around, the sea ice conditions are right, and that our colleagues who are currently on shore can safely get here as well. To make the decisions necessary, we are using a range of tools, including satellite imagery and weather forecasts, and quite frequently drones as well, or UAVs, to fly and get local information around the ship. So uh, the first part of, of creating an ice port is to, uh, is to groom the berth and make sure it's, uh, it's stable. So there was some uh, cornices. The cornice is just an, an overhanging bit of snow or ice off the edge, which we didn't want to drop onto the ship. So we actually knocked those off with a crane wire and then uh, put fenders in position and came alongside and held position using the ship's thrusters. We then put people out onto the ice, dragged out mooring lines and cut in big T-shaped trenches and put bits of wood in to moor up to the ice. Uh, and it was actually the first time we'd done that with the ship and it was, uh, it was very successful. It worked, worked really well. We'll then put a team of people on the ice. We'll use ground penetrating radar to look for crevasses and safe areas and then plan a route from that location all the way back onto the, onto the continent to meet the Traverse. The Traverse is basically uh, the mobile Antarctic lorry line across the, the continent. So uh, they're driving these machines, dragging cargo into the deep field, and uh, they'll usually set up a depot, a campsite, for the science to happen. Whilst the scientists are there, we host them and assist them in any way we can. And then once the science research mission's over, we'll pack everything up and drive it back. Uh, this kind of capability is really something that the UK should be proud of, because the, the ship itself is a, a British Antarctic Survey crew, the same with our with our aircraft that come and support um, over above the Traverse team, they're the UK team, that this is something that it's incredibly unique for a national programme to carry these kind of capabilities and we should be really proud of it. It's an incredibly difficult place to do anything and the people, the men and women that we sent out this year are super hardy, hardy individuals and incredibly skilled and we are we are very fortunate and they would this, this project would, would never get off the ground without the people that we sent out.